What's up everybody, it's Chill Panda back for another episode of The Chill Zone. And today I'm going to do a reaction to Kristen Gray and Jay Given's song, Shoulda Know. This song came out last year, so it's not a new song, but I've been meaning to do a reaction to this for a while. I really like it, I like how transparent Kristen Gray is with his life, and it just, I think it's a really high quality song, so watch this. All right, here we go. I think someone said that that was actually a Christian Gray song that was sampled at the beginning. Like he was sampling himself. I don't know what song that is, but it's kind of an interesting move right there. Peace, feeling like Michael Corleone when he dropped his piece. I thought I burned the house, so I tossed the keys. I must have never lost the pics, cause they haunting me. Autumn leaves. Uh. My DM's like a slip and slide. I need it like a needle, I can't sleep at night. Hedonism, I didn't hate advice. Now I'm in the fetal thing, pops is right. I was like a kid. I also like how artistic this music video is. It's obviously not like super high budget music video, but it's still really interesting to watch just how the lyrics are popping up on the screen and in interesting spots and just all the interesting shots that they're getting. I, I really like this music video. In the candy store, a sour one, couldn't find what I was looking for. I grew up wanting to sing and rep the gospel. You keep your nose clean when you grow up in a costume. Found a new way, cause that was hard to follow. This was easier to taste, but hard to swallow. Like you lead a buffet, feeling weak and hollow. So I ran to a legend like there's no tomorrow. I should've known. Should've known. Should've known. Yeah, I should've known better. Uh. Yeah, I should've known better, uh. better than a comeback. No better than a comeback. Uh uh, uh no better than a. Uh. Yeah. My idol said I'm Lauren Hill. Then I woke up to a record deal. A fresh shot will take my mind off the sex appeal. I still want the women, but I let them chill. Uh. I guess it was a pipe dream. Made it to. I think he's making a lot of references to things that have gone on in his life. Um, I don't know, this whole song seems to be talking about mistakes that he's made and just the effect that it's had on him. He's not super specific, but like this part right here, I can't really tell if he's referring to like, I know he was signed to, um, ah, Kurt, yeah, Kirk Franklin. I think he was signed to Kirk Franklin's record label for a while, and I know he was with um, Collision Records for a while, so I think he may be referencing that right here. I don't completely know. I think he might have been referencing Kirk Franklin with talking about his legend and his idol. I don't know, I, I could be wrong, but anyway. The league, not the right team. They should have known, ain't another artist like me. And I came from a genre that don't like me. Wifey left and I couldn't go get her. Too focused on trying to be a tone setter. By the time I could see the whole setup, the label fell apart and my home was no better. Uh, so glad. So, yeah, that seemed to be talking about Collision Records right there because Collision Records fell apart. Basically, they just kind of disappeared. And then he's saying something about his wife. I don't really understand that, but I don't know. I like how transparent he is. Or maybe I shouldn't say transparent because. I'm not always understanding what he's saying in this song, but I don't know. He, I like how he's talking about his life in with a decent amount of detail. Glad I could call on my brother. We made a whole album and it let me keep the money. Through. So sad that I lost my his mother. And even though we moving on, I'm always gonna love her. Yeah, yeah. Jay, 
Overall, had a blast even last year. No regrets, just passing here, and I ain't exiting to come back. I ain't been booked in like two months and have to check in. Spent half to check in. I knew this whole thing was gonna be tentative. I seen a pretty. So Jay Givens in his verse here seems to be talking about how his hip hop career is slowing down or just hasn't been doing very well recently, which is kind of shocking to me considering how popular his Fly Exam album had been. This whole song is interesting to me how they're just talking about all these bad things that have happened to them. I, don't, I, I like this song a lot. Penny paid for some penitence. I seen people judge people, be enemies, be friends, then different, and then be friends again and say that's forgiveness, but that's the industry I was committed in. That's how Christian rap get dividends. That's the new friends. You get what you got new from the get go that my cousin was finna pop. So in seven years, so I think he was making a reference to John Given, or I think he was making a reference to John Gives right there, who is Jay Given's cousin who supposedly got signed to Interscope Records. Um, yeah, I, I think that's what he's referring to. People will love you just to leverage it. Don't look too long at those with limited celebrity. Sitting next to this puppy to keep it real and depend on record deals. I'm here switching careers, sending resumes. So I have no idea what paper Kristen Gray is burning. I don't really know. It's I feel like it's supposed to represent something that like that was important to him that his mistakes and just his life kind of destroyed or something. I don't really know. And then Jay Givens talking about how he's at least at the time of this song was looking for a job that wasn't a rapper. I guess his hip hop career at this point had just kind of died out or something. I don't know. But come to think of it, nobody's even home. See the writing on the wall is your name. Okay, so that was Kristen Gray and Jay Given's song, Shoulda Known. I really like this song. I like how they're just discussing their lives and how things have kind of gone wrong for them. And it's, I guess, sort of transparent, but I, as I said, I don't really understand everything that they're referring to, but I don't know. They, you kind of get a glimpse into their lives and how they feel with this song, and I like that a lot. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought, and I'm out of time for today. Thanks for watching. The Chill Zone here with Chill Panda.